first thing you want to do is select your mango at the store and you want to make sure that it's not too ripe because it'll be much harder to cut. Uh, so this one actually might be a little too firm and too not ripe enough, but we're going to go ahead and practice this. Um, the thing is about the shape of a mango, all mangoes are a little bit um, oval shaped. So you can see that there's a side that's wider and a side that's narrower. And in my experience, you want to put it on its narrow side so that it's longer going up from the, from the table. And that's because of the shape of the pit, which is a long, flat type seed. So it's not actually round. So you want to put the mango up on its side. I'm actually going to turn it this way so that it's facing me. And then you kind of want to just kind of guess where that pit might be. And I usually just go maybe a half an inch from the stem of the mango. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the cut. All right, so you can see that I haven't dipped into the pit, which is nice, and we just have this nice, uh, solid piece of fruit right here on the side. And so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side now. And there we go, we have another piece of fruit. And you can see there's a beginning of that pit, but it's great because you haven't dipped into the pit at all. And then what I usually like to do is that there's a little bit of fruit you can get off either side of the pit. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice that down. And, and then we just kind of find, you, you'll know when you hit the pit because it's hard. So now you're left with four nice pieces of fruit plus the pit portion and the fun part comes when you get to actually get that fruit out of the mango. And so what I do is I actually just slice it down right down the middle and don't cut through the skin. You want to leave that skin intact. Um, so we slice it down and I like to put it in squares for something like a salad. So you're left sort of with this um, little jig, this little crisscross and you can see I haven't cut through the skin. And then I sort of slowly bend it back and then all that fruit is revealed. And then I get my bowl and I just sort of shave off these pieces of mango into the bowl. So you might feel a little guilty about having this leftover fruit around the pit. Uh, so what you can do is you can either give it to bystanders that are watching you cut your mango or when nobody's looking you can eat it yourself. All the fruit around here you can just nibble it up.